Today we're going to take a look at Jam 6 part. Okay, this one we're going to learn a couple of new techniques, a couple of new features for Inventor. If you take a look, you can see that we're mainly a square, and then there's a triangle that's extruded out in front of it and a pocket in the middle. The thing that's going to be new for us is if you can kind of draw an imaginary line right down the middle of this part, can you see how the left side matches the right side? So we're going to introduce you to a new tool called Mirror. Also, something new for us is going to be this slot creation on how to create a slot. Okay, and all of that is talked about down here in our techniques that we're talking and learning about today. We're also going to add projecting geometry in there. Okay, so to begin, we're going to start with a square that is 4 inches by 4 inches, and we're going to extrude it back 0.25. Let's go to Inventor. Select New from the ribbon bar at the top, Standard IPT, and click Create. <clears throat> Take a 2D sketch, place it on our XY plane, click Front in your World View Cube to zoom all. Then we're going to choose our Rectangle tool from the top, lock onto your origin, and sketch to the upper right hand quadrant. The horizontal dimension is 4, press the Tab key, the vertical dimension is 4, and press enter on the keyboard. Green check mark, finish sketch. Go home. And now we're going to take and extrude that a quarter inch. We want that to go in direction two, the flip direction. And we want to enter in 0.25 for my distance. And then select OK. Wonderful. Next, let's take a look at our part. The first thing that we're going to do now for this triangle is we're going to take and make this angular line that goes from the midpoint of the square to the lower left hand corner and then we're going to mirror it over on the other side. So we're going to take a 2D sketch, place this on our front view, and in order to make this work what we want to do is we're going to take and we're going to sketch some geometry on here. But first, we want to take and project the geometry from our square that's below this sketch onto this sketch. So I'm going to click Project Geometry, and I want to select my part. When it turns red, click. And you can see that we did it right because it's now outlined in yellow. Then we're going to take, grab our line tool from the top ribbon bar, come up to the top of my part and I want to slide my mouse along that top line and when it locks on to the midpoint you'll know it does because it turns into a green dot. Once it does click and then we're going to stretch a line to the bottom left hand corner. Once you get a green dot down there click to select. Press the escape key. The next thing that we need to do is we need to draw a construction line. So we're going to come back up to that midpoint at the top, click Make a line straight up in the air. Make sure that it's straight. The length of this line does not matter. Click. Press Escape. Okay, so that's our construction line right there. Now we're going to select our mirror command. It's right next to dimension and below rectangular and circular pattern. Right here, mirror. The first thing it wants me to do is select what geometry I want to mirror. And I'm going to mirror this angular line. I'm going to switch over to my mirror line pick tool, this one here, and it wants me to choose the line I want it to mirror around. So I'm going to select that construction line. Once I have done do those two things, click apply. And see how that flips it over there nice and easy? Click done. Next, let's green check mark finish sketch. Go up to the top ribbon bar, we're going to extrude, and I want to select this middle triangle to extrude, and I'm going to take and extrude this a distance of, take a look at our drawing here, you can see that this area that's extruded is 0.5, a half inch. Going back to my part, I'm going to change my distance to 0.5, and click OK. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to make this pocket in the middle that has these fillets in it at 0.25. You can see that in the note down here. Then we're going to drill these holes and then we're going to talk about those slots. The first thing I want to do is take a 2D sketch, place it on the top of my triangle, 
and go home. Now I want to take and I want to offset the outside edge of this triangle. However, when I click offset, do you see how nothing highlights? Okay, that's the same problem we were going to have with that midpoint in our first sketch. So what I want to do first is instead of offset, I want to project my geometry. So I'm going to come over and select my middle rect triangle, click, and now I'm going to go to offset. And when I click on the edge of that, you see how it all highlights red? Click and bring your cursor to the inside of your screen. This offset distance is 0.375. And press enter on the keyboard. The next thing that we need to add are those fillets. So we're going to come up to the top to our ribbon bar, select fillet. Our fillet radius is 0.25. Enter that in up here. And then we're going to fillet the top, the right, and the left corners of that triangle. When you're finished with that, X out of your fillet tool, and let's green check mark finish sketch. Now we're going to take an extrude. I want to select that middle triangle that we just drew, and I want to extrude it, cut, and I want that distance to be a half inch, 0.5, and click OK. Okay, next let's take a look at those holes. So those holes on the note here, it says that those holes are 0.25 in diameter and a half inch deep. And there's a few dimensions on here that we have to place in order to locate the position of those holes. So let's get started on that. I'm going to take my 2D sketch, place it on the top of my triangle. I'm going to click front in my world view cube. And I'm going to take my points, and I'm going to place one just kind of randomly in each of the corners of the triangle. We're going to dimension them so it doesn't have to be perfect yet. Okay? Once you have those points on there, I click magnifying glass piece of paper to zoom on. I need to put some dimensions on here. So if I take a look at my drawing from the bottom to that first point, is 0.3. Enter that in for a dimension. From the left hand side to this first point is a half inch, 0.5. From the left hand side to my second point, this is 3.5. Green check marker, enter on the keyboard. Now instead of putting another dimension from here to the point, I could come up here to the top and constrain with my horizontal constraint, and I can constrain horizontally the left point and the right point, and it'll automatically line them up. That's a pretty handy tool. Remember using that earlier? Next, we're going to dimension. Once again, we got a dimension for that top hole from the left hand side to that point on the top, and this dimension is two inches. Then we're going to dimension from the top of my part to the bottom of that point, and that dimension is 0.75. Green check mark. Finish sketch. Next, what we're going to do is use our hole tool. We're going to create holes for these parts, and I'm going to take you through top to bottom on here. We want to have a simple hole with no seat. We want to have a termination distance, so we're not going through all. We want termination distance. We want our depth here to be 0.5. And I want my diameter to be 0.25. And then select OK. Great job, everything's looking good. Next, we're gonna show you how to do these slots. Now, if you take a look here at my part, you can see that I have one slot dimensioned on this side. It's a half inch in from the top and from the left-hand side. From center of the slot to center of the slot, it is 1.5 inches, and it's a quarter inch wide. Okay, so let's show you how to create this. I'm gonna take a 2D sketch, place it on my left side view over here. 
I'm going to click front in my world view cube or I'm going to click magnifying glass piece of paper to zoom. Now, if you look at the top up here in my ribbon bar, I don't see any slot tool. However, if you take and you look at the buttons that are up here, underneath each one of the icons for circle, for arc, for rectangle, there's a split button that's underneath there. We're going to click on the bottom of that where the word is that says rectangle. And I'm going to slide down and I open up a bunch more tools that I have. And I'm going to choose slot center to center. Okay, once you choose slot center to center, we know those dimensions that we need. We know those dimensions that we need. So I'm going to start towards the top of my part. I'm going to click, stretch out a line going down. And that is my center to center. So my center to center is 1.5. Press enter on the keyboard. Now it's going to force me to type in a distance for the width of that. And that width was 0.25. Once you've entered those in, press enter. And that's going to create our slot. Now we need to dimension that from the top down and the left side in. So we're going to use our dimension tool. We're going to dimension from the left side of our part to the center of that slot. And this is 0.5, a half inch. Enter on a keyboard or green check mark. We're also going to dimension from the top to the center of that slot. This dimension is 0.5. Enter on the keyboard or green check mark. Okay, now since we're still here, let's get a line tool. And I want to come to my midpoint again. This is where we're going to mirror around. Get my midpoint, which turns green when I'm locked onto it. I'm going to sketch a straight line straight up. Once again, it doesn't matter how long this line is, just as long as it's straight. Press the escape key. Now we're going to select our mirror tool again. And it wants me to select the geometry. So I want to click the top of my slot, the right side, the bottom, and the left side of that slot. Once those are selected, then we're going to switch over to our mirror line pick tool. And I'm going to choose the construction line that we made. Once you're finished with that, click apply. And it's going to flip it over to the other side. Select done. And now we're going to take in green check mark, finish sketch. And now we're going to take and extrude those. So we're going to extrude. We're going to click both of these slots here, make sure you're identifying both of them by clicking them. We want it to go in a cut, so my output is going to be cut. And I want to change this to through all for my distance. Once you're finished with that, click OK. And there you have Jam 6 part done. The last thing that we're going to do is come up to the top to where it says default. And I'm going to scroll down, and I am going to find the T's. And I are going to make this one turquoise. OK, so that looks really good. Let's go up to the top orange file in the top left-hand corner. And we're going to go down to Save As. We're going to make sure that this is going into our H drive. From the pull-down menu all the way down to the bottom, first initial, last name, 000, and the gray box with the green line underneath of it. And we're going to label this part. So this part is 6 jam, and you're going to enter in your last name right here after that part. Once you've done that, click Save. Congratulations. The next step is to go on to run the tool pass in order to cut this on a CNC mill. Great job on part 6.